All right, we are here. We are set up. Craig had to get a yep. breakfast of champions. Got some popcorn and some nuts. <laughs> we got some nuts, dude. So Craig is gonna be loaded up on nuts while we get this show started. So let's go. All right. So we need to go check out uh, Mr. Reese. Yep. Reese Collect. He's right around here. It's day two once again. Yep. And we haven't seen his booth yet. And he's right here. So this is one of the homies. So we always got to check out the homies. He's rocking one of his T-shirts. So we're gonna get a close up oh. on the friggin' tea. Mr. Ray. Bam. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Dude, walk us through some of this booth. Yeah, yeah let's see. All right. Let's see what do you got? Where do you want to start? This side or this side? Uh, right here. What do you got going on over here? What's this table? The nostalgia junkyard. Okay. So you dig around in here, you find something that you haven't seen in 20, 30, 40 years, however long it has been. And um, relive your childhood. So that's what this table is. Okay, let's see. We've got our little. VHS down here. Oh. Cartoons on this side, and then like, you know. Oh, that's just cool. Random movies here. Look at that one, guys. Casper, uh, a Spirited Beginning. What is this? That is the sequel to the original ah! Casper. I'll grab it. For yeah, you. get it for me. I want to see it. Bam. Oh man. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> so that's the Devin Sawa. No, Devin Sawa. Sawa. I mean, I guess he technically still is Devin Sawa, but no, oh, does he come to life in this one? Casper? Uh, yes. He does come back to life, but it's not Devin Sauer. No. His friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool piece. I yeah, like that a lot. Like, who would have thought? I couldn't could not remember that Lord of the Rings came on a VHS. So oh, like, dude. Ooh, random stuff like that. Yeah. Is that Silver Sue? It sure is. Yeah. Up here, perfect segue. We got vinyl up here. We so. got brand new sealed up here. We've got some pop music we got some heavy hitters like tribe Quest. quest wow oh that's really cool Mayor. so those are new sealed and then we've got all reuse stuff and like you pointed out we've got let's see that's in our modern rock section or yeah we've got silverstein right here and here that's awesome uh we even got some punk metal yeah, this is Rayfire, clash Devil Wars prada all right okay. so like reese so a little bit more reese collects is, is showing us that he's got taste yeah, yeah right there eclectic, uh, stuff that you know we'll see and then this is our power ranger shelf i love this um all mint box vintage items there yeah this is nice man this is my favorite thing about these back in the day was the transitions oh yeah so it was kind of like animorphs <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Right. I really like that. And it, what's weird is that doesn't look like Billy, you know? Oh, like from the show. Know. It just doesn't. It kind of looks like Spider-Man 3 and Peter Parker. Yeah, it's weird. So they predict the future. There. I love that. And then what well, else we got going this on? Is, this is our Toys R Us style stuff here. I'm digging this. We got Toy Story, Turtles, Star Wars, X-Men. So really cool carded ones. And these Toy Story ones, I remember getting back in the day. I really love those. Oh, yeah. Um, and then a lot of cool loose figures. Yeah, loose table here. I am. Uh, even some baseball cards. I'm a baseball fan, so like, we got singles over here, two for a dollar, and then Love it. all of our starting lineups. Oh, we got a bin. Everyone loves a bin. Yep, you got to dig around in there. Yep. Sometimes you stuff in there. Yep. Very got cool. Mask. And we got a couple Batmobiles. Yep, vehicle shelf here. All of our vehicles. Right on. These turtles. Real quick, before we leave the booth, though, how can everyone find you on social? Reese Collects, Reese underscore Collects on Instagram. All right. Uh, also on Whatnot and Mercari and things like that. So. What's your favorite thing to collect? Uh, right now it is Turtles, but it sometimes, depending on the day, it's Power Rangers. Right on. I love it, dude. We found a Boston Mike. Bam, look what I just scored. That's me awesome. one and three. Somewhere there's two here, maybe, you think? But no, it's. I didn't watch this live, but I did watch this one. I remember as a kid. What did you? How much did you get those for? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Sixty-five a piece. Oh, nice, dude. Those yeah, are good sets, it's man. The Boston Mike face. There. It is, there it is man. Retro <laughs> Expo. <laughs> what do we got? There's some Thundercats right here. The GI Joes. Love it. We got some extra, extra right there. We, all, uh, we got Lucy's. $5 in the Yeah, and there you go. Yes. Got books. The oh, dude, look at that Zelda case. That's cool. That is sick. Yeah. I've seen turtle ones, but I've never seen a Zelda one. That is cool. Yeah. We got the uh, 89 Batman cereal. 
Weird ball. That thing's weird. Unofficial. <laughs> By Mel Appill. Yeah. Mel Appill. That's pretty cool. Those cops are dope. Remember these? Yep, I have one of them. You do? Yep. Brings back so many memories. Dude. Yeah. Oh, you know what I also am in the hunt for? Uh, Batman Forever glasses. I need to find them all at once, though. So if we could find that here, I would be okay. Happy. Okay. So I'm trying to get drunk. <laughs> you got Ooh, a, Caveman Leo. Yeah. Got a Lionheart. Love okay. it. Oh, dude! Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Dude, look at those. Two for dude. Sweet. All right. Let's see what else we got over here. Boston Mike. Man. I guarantee he has gone through every single oh, one yeah. of these. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's right, standing right there. Oh. Yes. We got another Boston Mike. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Shit. He found me. <laughs> what do we got over here? Ugly. One ugly mother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, homie's been through some stuff. Yeah. We got some of the uh, Burger King Mighty Max. Greco. We got another Greco, Greco piece. What else we got? More Mighty Max over here. Trying to, try to find the Pac-Man I Yoda. Yoda? Yoda? <laughs> what are those? These? Yeah. Yoda, but um, thank you. <laughs> looks to be like, looks to be some looks, sort of vehicle. Looks to be some sort of Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> looks to be some sort of car. Oh, I mean, so the variant, these are a bunch of different variants, but like the Lily Lighting has like the Pac Man uh, eyes, so it looks like a Pac Man. How old are these though? 80? 80? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Day. Yeah. Guys, we are here. This is day two Retro Expo. Two, 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 not four, but two. two. Yep. And uh, we got Craig. He is looking for a specific game. What are you looking for? Uh, Adventures of Link on the NES. So, Ooh, Virtual Madness has one in box. Yep. So, we are here at the Retro Madness booth. Craig just so happened to mention it in passing. Yeah, Mike, Mike didn't get the banner, but that's our card. There we go. Let's that's zoom in. Card. Oh, Mike's an owner Ooh. of Retro Madness? <laughs> so let's check this out. Let's go. It's Take not the the minty. It's mm -hmm. it's okay. It's Dude. got the mania. I wouldn't call it minty. But the car to is someone nice. to someone like me, this is like really really good condition. Nice. Wow, it's got inserts and everything. So this is kind of the golden goose, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, really the the first one. Okay. Let's yeah. see that one. Let me see that one. It does That's have this cool. styrofoam inside, which That's is a bonus. Styro. That's yep. a bonus. OG 1985 mm -hmm. styro. Wow. All right. And what do we got? So is this a is this a pickup? Uh, it's a possible pickup. Okay. It is. Possible hey, pickup. This is somebody else that's looking, so we need to we need to resort back to them first, or what? Yeah, uh, Dean, Dean, Mr. Dino. Dino, mm. that's good. So, we're so gonna give him a call. Do you know Mr. Dino as well? Yeah, you know right. Dino. Former Retro Madness uh, shareholder. Shareholder. Dean. Okay. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. So we're gonna check uh, it eBay, out. eBay. Uh, he's the eBay coordinator yeah. at Retro Madness. All right, guys, we're gonna try to work a freaking deal. For Dean. Woo! Look at that. And the deal has been done. <laughs> so this is this is what it's all about in the toy community. If you're not able to make a show, we're able to look for you and get it going. So well, you got to double check it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This is from the Narc. We have to double check it. Wait, how do you check? How do you check it? <laughs> That's how you get immunity, baby. That's how you get COVID. Yeah, no, dude. Zombie apocalypse goes down. He's the Steve. safest one, dude. Steve. You like that? All right, we're heading to another booth. What's the name of this one? Strange and Weird Toys. Let's check out this stuff. Ooh. Oh, we got that gold label Batman. That's a really cool piece. Yeah. Look at the size of that has lab, dude. It's freaking huge. Cause that McFarlane piece right there is huge. And I actually got rid of it for my collection because it was too big. And look how small it looks next to Galactics. 
If you had the space, would you? Would I have the Galactus or the Batman? The Galactus. Um, I'm a DC man. As much as I love a lot of Marvel stuff, it's just that would be a huge piece in the collection. Ooh. All right. What are you seeing off the bat? Oh. I think he's fairly new. I haven't seen that one at all. Yeah. Camo Con, Dodgers. Yeah. Maybe that was a website exclusive? Or we got Maybe. some KO turrets? Yeah. We got these dudes. Turtle Fighters. Yeah. I'd love that. We got some Mythics. What else we got going on? With the HasLab uh, Sky Striker. Yeah. Right there. Let's see. Oh, dude. Okay. That. That one's been eluding me for a while too. That Superman back there. It's a. Uh, yeah. But that one is really, really nice. It comes with the display stand and stuff. Oh, man. Look. What do we got going on? Supernaturals. Complete. Oh, and you're after some of that, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Got some soupies. We, let's get Mike over here to do a taste test. A little taste test. Um, we got some. Food fighters? Food fighters. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is that? That's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I like it. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Where do you want to head to? I don't know. So there's there's a lot of cool. Lot, I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff. Supernaturals Super, is up there. It's, but also the Rimco figures that Anthony has. Yep. I'm kind of on the fence about. Yep. And is there, then is there anything else that we saw? That one booth with all the bootlegs and uh, um, I don't know. I mean, I a guess. lot of stuff has been jumping out, I, just, I don't know yet. All right, we have a few decisions to make. We got a few. So we're gonna look around a little bit more and we're gonna get back to you with our pickups. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a very rare situation. Narc is selling. He's being a salesman right now and he's actually selling product, not walking around. <laughs> so this is very shocking. I'm yeah. kind of like at awe right now. So Craig, I think this is the his first sale of the show. And we're on so. day two. I think so. Now, mind you, we have sold a bunch of Craig's things. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do you think you can close the deal? Yeah, let's see. It's still not over yet. There's been no exchange. Should I get in there and snipe the sale and get them selling? <laughs> we need to see if it goes through. He puts it back in the shop. I'm going in and selling it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Moment of truth. Will, we have a complete transaction. What's happening? It's going down. It's going watch, next. Watch the map. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Are you passing on that? Yes. I I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Ladies and gentlemen, live here at Retro Fest or Retro Expo, Craig sold an item. We still don't know if the internet connection will allow him to. Complete. <laughs> I used to actually own one, and I'm a dumbass. Sold it, and, you know. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are following up on some things that we ended up passing on yesterday. Um, I took a look earlier. I didn't see them. So hopefully they're still there. Yeah, but again, I didn't see them, so we'll see. What else? I don't I, see them. Huh? You don't see any of them, right? I know. Avon gone? Yeah. No. Both of them. The only thing I want to have is Joe Fly. Joe Fly yesterday. Yeah, and I took that game earlier. That's, was it uh, only then? I've said it before and I'll say it again. You see something, you get it. But let's rewind. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to day two of Retro Expo here in Allen, Texas. I'm sitting in the parking garage right now. Craig doesn't even know about this portion of the video that I'm filming right now because I'm trying to work out a deal for us. So we were looking yesterday, we were hunting around and Craig found two skeleton figures. I don't remember the names of them, my bad, but there was an Extreme Dinosaurs Avon exclusive bullseye that I had my eye on. 
and all three of those items were in the same booth. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna try to work a deal. I'm gonna try to work a deal to get all three of them for one price, and I might even try to work in a trade. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I wanna work this out for Craig because I recently was able to pick up an awesome lot from Dirt Cheap. I picked up a bunch of AEW, a one of 5,000 figures, and I wouldn't have got that deal if I wasn't hunting for something for Craig. I made about $600 profit off of that deal, which means cut 20% right off the bat for Craig, and I'm gonna try to spend that on him without him knowing. Now, this isn't something that we pre-planned or that I even really owe him money on, but in the toy community, I think it's really, really important to look out for your fellow collectors, to be supportive of them, to help them with their collecting goals. And if you fall into a good lot and you make a good amount of profit, you should take care of your friends, right? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Hopefully you guys end up seeing this clip and I'm able to work out a deal, but let's get to it. All right, guys, we are here. We worked out a deal with Anthony. I gotta show you because he hooked it up big time and he, sure. made, it, he made it work out. And let's get a good look. So we picked up this guy, this guy, and this guy, but we're gonna hide him over here and uh, not let Craig know that we got him so that when he comes looking around for them later, he's gonna be disappointed. So we're gonna break his heart and then we're gonna make him happy in a little bit. All right. I, uh, and I knew it too. When we were pulling, not pulling the trigger yesterday, I was like, and then we were looking through footage and it was like, those are the things that we like the most from the show. Uh, yeah. I give it a tiny, I'm kind of clowns. I've had people call for that right now too. Yeah. I tell everybody, you know, I'm going to pull the trigger. So yeah. Like, yeah. And you're going to leave, it's going to be gone. So what was the lesson learned? You got to pull that trigger, man. Are you heartbroken right now, dude? Kind of. That's a holy. Really yeah. That's the only thing I wanted. I know. I don't see anything else that I want. <laughs> it's like, dude. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, dude. I guess it's as good a time yeah. as any. You yeah. kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, so the guy that bought it. Yeah. <laughs> <For you>. Ah! <laughs> open it, dude. Open it up, open it up. All right, so this is the part of the video that I was really excited about. I got here yeah. a little bit early. Yeah. We worked it, and we made it happen, dude. Yeah, you fucking got me, man. Yeah. I, tell, I, tell myself, I was so cheap, too. Yeah. I was so pissed. <laughs> There's nothing else that I wanted. To I know. I wanted to go all day, but I didn't want the whole day to be ruined. So I was like, you "This." Should. It would have probably I, been really sweet. No, I know. Dinner's all sad. I know, but it it really would have ruined the entire day. So instead of ruining yeah. the entire day, we just sealed the deal right now. Yeah. So, so we we couldn't have done this. Oh, I can't get it. So, um, this deal wouldn't have been able to happen if the homie didn't hook it up. But again, like I said in the intro of this video that he doesn't even know about yet. Um, I ran across a lot of AEW chase figures that I would never have gotten if he didn't ask me to hunt at Dirt Cheap. So I went to Dirt Cheap, I ended up getting a huge profit on that. You take your 20% off of that for helping me find that, and that's what you get, man. Yeah. So that's it. All right. That's awesome. All right, so the end of the show, we're bored out of our mind, and uh, Boston, we're going through Boston Mike stuff, as you can see all properly labeled but he's got these five dollar action figures <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> no hands so five finger discount yep <laughs> five dollars <laughs> one arm triple h <laughs> but this one's my favorite because you need to take my strong hand my strong hand mike i don't got no f hands <laughs> why are you still trying to sell me for five dollars <laughs> yeah throw me out <laughs> throw me Put me on my yeah. I don't got no hands. <laughs> <hand. laughs> All right, guys. So that's the end of Retro Expo. It was a blast. Stay tuned for the haul portion in the next video. But I just want to say a special uh, shout out to Boston Mike, to uh, Steve with the case, uh, the Game Chasers. Uh, let's see, Dave. Dave, thank you, buddy. Like what you did was freaking amazing. Thank you so much. That just shows 
the love in this community. And also, uh, Anthony, thank you for hooking up Dave with that. But stay tuned for the next haul video from Retro Expo. We out. So, quite like uh, the lick test, Mike also negotiates by allowing others to give him prop dots. <laughs> it's for a toy! Wouldn't you do it for a toy? What would you do for a toy? Yes, you gotta go sleeveless. His arm here today is gonna be. You know, I'm going out to dinner like this, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I bought a t-shirt. Oh, did you? No, you gotta go to dinner like this. It's my football shirt. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I had. Should we do the eighties with the strings? Oh, he had the strings. Yeah, yeah. Do the yeah. strings. Do the strings. <laughs> there you go, baby. That is awesome. I'm keeping it like this. <laughs> this, should, this should be me coming out of you know hell like wearing weekend. a shirt. You gotta wear it all weekend like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Negotiating tactic number two. Dude, look at that for a million dollar man. Hasbro. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's oh, oh, I get the green one for that one. And you gotta wear this like a bad dentist. That one? Yeah, like yeah. Rambo. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, cut that in half. We'll tie it around my forearm. <laughs> wait, wait, cut that. Let me need that one. I got it. Oh, yeah. Goddamn Ultimate War. <laughs> I've seen the light of my father. The warriors and my brother are all one.